Give it up for Austin Roush. Austin Roush! Austin Roush! Hey, Lily. I'm so pleased to finally make your acquaintance. Please. I have something that I think you'll be quite interested in. Look, Mr. Austin Roush. Thank you, Micah. Micah, for years, rumors of a secret society have permeated every facet of our daily lives. Of course, I'm talking about the Jews. Their very existence has been treated as mere mythology, but a watchful eye can see that their members are blending seamlessly into our society with their delicious breads and catchy dances. Wait a minute, Austin. Jews aren't secret at all. In fact, I'm Jewish. We're pretty open about it. <laughs> sure, Micah. You say that now, but later tonight you'll don your Jew disguise and blend into some of our country's most sensitive areas, such as schools, Occupy Wall Street, and Mount Rushmore. Uh, I just got a haircut. You like it? Yeah. Looks good. Uh, I had like long hair for like a year. It was down to my shoulder. But I had to finally get rid of it because some of the new people at work were uh, thinking that I was a woman. And I was like, oh God. So finally I cut it and now they just think I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I'm a Caucasian guy, if you guys didn't notice, which is great for me because I love to tell ethnic jokes. Do you guys hear the one about the white guy that walked into the bank? He got the loan. <laughs> Thank you. I'm also a German, so I drink a lot, but I'm in recovery. I don't drink before work in school anymore. I wait till I get there. <laughs> uh, my mom quit drinking like a year ago, though, so she's always on my ass. She quit drinking and she found God. We're Catholic. So that adds to my But uh, yeah, she goes to church like every day of the week, sometimes twice, and she goes around to the different churches to see what sermon she likes the more. She doesn't stay for the entire ceremony, she just drinks the blood of Christ and leaves. But... <laughs> that is my order! I can. Who do you think you are? I will have you out! If I were you, General, I would think very carefully about how I proceed from here. So you're a family man. We both know the penalties under law for disobeying orders. So I would hope you think very carefully about how your actions now might affect the lives of your wife and your children. Don't force me to do it. You ever be at a, a nice uh, setting where you're at dinner with people and suddenly you really have to go to the has gas and you say, now you don't want to do it there, so you excuse yourself from the room. But as soon as you leave the room, you stand up and it like locks up, you can't do it anymore. <laughs> so then you go back to your seat and as soon as you sit down, it's like it's ready to flow out again. <laughs> so you try and pass it off and you decide, this seat is cushion. Maybe if I just let it go slowly, the seat will absorb. <laughs> Zero calories, maximum Pepsi taste. The one thing I, I could say being an animal for would be good is if you were a, uh, you know, a, for the sex. Because the sex is good. Animals are kind of discriminated. You don't see uh, animals going around bothering about penis size. There's no lioness uh, in the pride going like, oh, he can't handle the sack. I know they might have been. You go to the lion king. You fought with ten times the man you were. <laughs> But it's easy if you're a lion. All you, all you do is have sex all day. Lions and the prides are awesome. Here's your day as a lion. You go, hey, come over here. Bang, bang, bang. All right, good work. Next one. Bang, bang, bang. All right, that was good. Next one. Bang. Hey, I'm sorry, it's just you're really hot. That's good. Anyway, uh, pretty sure one of you is pregnant. I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, why don't you guys go wrestle a gazelle? I'm going to take a nap. Good stuff. Step three of the art of seduction. Letting the woman know you are available. Follow. Hello, woman. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> I feel 
Well, that for the killer whale, though, right? He kind of got the short end of the stick. You know, like, why is, why is he the killer whale? You know, if they could talk, they'd be pissed off. They'd be like, hey, man, what's all this killer whale shit? It's orca, motherfucker. What, what the fuck is this? How many whales? Why am I the killer whale? All right, why don't you come do another whale? What do I kill? Seal a day, penguin a day? Well, I'm talking blue whale. He kills like a million krill a day. He's more of a killer than me. Like, I don't really spat. You know that I'm not even a whale? I'm a porpoise. But I suppose that wasn't good enough for you, right? Not only am I a killer, now I'm fat. <laughs> Shit. You don't think I know who you up to this? It's that goddamn beluga. Yeah, I know what it is. It's because I'm half black. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I can read between the lines. Why don't you put the beluga in the goddamn tank? Make him jump through a hoop. No, because he's the white whale. You won't even call him the white whale. You gave it to one guy, Moby Dick, and that's only because he killed one of you guys. Yeah, you thought that was so fascinating, you just had to write a book about it. Ridiculous. This is wrong, man, this is wrong. Are you doing the same thing to my brother, Black Bear? You see Black Bear on the endangered species list? No, no. You save that for the white bear. Oh, I'm sorry. Holy bear. Because God forbid we bring up his skin color. Whoa, Austin, this is all a bit racist. Racist schmacis, Micah. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Stolen by Jews. The application should be applauded, not punished. Austin, Aust Austin, I'm gonna stop you again. Look, I don't think this is appropriate for a show. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You can stop me, Micah, but you can't stop the revolution. People aren't gonna listen to you whitewashing the news anymore with your Jewish-themed game promoting like Sim Synagogue and Super Mordecai Brothers. It simply will not stand anymore. How did you even get this job as senior Jewish correspondent to begin with? Truthfully, Micah, I don't work here. I just kind of snuck in the studio and saw the camera running. Pretty much thought I could just run with it. So, um... <sighs> Toodaloo. Uh, well, thanks, Austin, I guess. Can we get security improved around here? Honestly. Back to the news. Whoa, whose arm was that? Did I abduct your fat little children and feed them to these starving comedy actors? I'm not saying I did, but I'm not saying I won't either. So do yourself a favor, do your family a favor, and do the world a favor. And click donate today, just over there. After all, if you do give a donation a day, we have all sorts of fun extras for you. Such as a DVD copy of one of our sketches. Or me, standing naked in your living room when you get home from work. But, I suppose you'll be getting that whether you like it or not. <laughs>